Good morning from the Dolomites. We made We're it. We're so excited to be here. We We've been traveling to Italy for a few weeks now. We've been looking forward to getting here the whole time. We're actually gonna take a gondola up to Suceda, which is like one of the must see things in the Dolomites. But yeah, we are just planning on spending most of the day uh, really up on top of the mountain. Um, try to find a meadow to maybe do some frolicking. Yeah. We don't know, we'll see. Yeah, we didn't come with um, quite the right gear for this area. We don't have hiking shoes or anything, so we're not gonna be doing any crazy hikes, unfortunately, but everywhere there's good views, so I don't think it's gonna be hard for us to find good spots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at cows. Here's the thing, if you walk by cows and you don't go, ooh, cows, something's wrong with you. <laughs> the truth. Cause look, cows. <laughs> And I think we're gonna hit a, a little market or grocery store first and pick up our favorite meal, probably some meat and cheese, meat and cheese. for lunch. We got some drinkable yogurt and some apples and meat and cheese and water. So hopefully that'll be good for lunch. But there's also restaurants and stuff up top. Maybe so we should get some almonds. So now that we picked up some stuff for lunch, we're walking up to the gondola <laughs> that's gonna take us to Suceda. We've been at very low elevation for the past month. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're like up here. Every time we walk for like five minutes, we're like, you okay? <laughs> Especially with our bags on. <laughs> yeah. These backpacks are not light. So we got the Gardena card, which allows us to go to multiple lifts. Um, in the area, so it was what seventy-eight a person or something. Yeah, so it's it's euros. seventy-eight euros a person, which is kind of a lot, but it's like a, a round-trip ticket to take the Sacheda, um lift that we're about to take right now is thirty-five euros. Yeah, and we get unlimited rides on eight different lifts throughout the whole valley. Well, with seventeen this. technically, but only eight are open right now. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's worth yeah, it. Yeah, it is kind of expensive, but if you take like three lifts, mm -hmm. then you've already it's already paid for itself, so it's definitely worth it. Yeah. I've been We're looking so forward to this, I think, ever since we started talking about this trip. Oh yeah. Was We knew we'd come here. The Dolomites. Yeah, we knew this was gonna be on the list. until it gets into the station. <laughs> that almost just threw me. It did throw me. And on to the next one. Oh, so this one's a little bit different. It's like rides every 15 minutes because it like goes really fast. We just missed it. <laughs> so that first lift that we took, we gained about 400 meters in elevation. Um, so not even halfway. This next one, we are going to gain about a thousand meters in elevation. So quickly. Yeah, very quickly. So it's it's coming into the station now, <laughs> and we're gonna up. we're gonna hop on and go on up to the top. Yeah. <laughs> Sun feels good. It's gotten really cold <laughs> since we've gotten up here. I'm so far down. What? <laughs> These people have a lot of faith in this thing. <laughs> that was insane. Oh my. <laughs> oh my right, gosh. Let's go First look all, at. Let's go look at where we just came from. <laughs> No way. Down yeah, we came from there? way down there. I didn't even see the station. Right there, maybe? Or whatever. Oh, yeah, it's that building there. Like, this goes all the way to that, like, building right in front of us. We came from Look there. Don't 
cry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no like crying. I've never. I've been looking forward to this for so long, and <laughs> I just like walked out, and I think it's better than I even ever thought it would be. <laughs> wow. You see pictures of it so, like I've seen, looked up so many pictures of this place, <laughs> and like, they're all amazing, and so, and there's been so many times where I've done that for places, and then you go, and you're a little bit disappointed, but... This is so much more magnificent than I, I even thought it was. I love you. I hope you'll cry like that when we have children. It'd be awkward if you didn't. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that would be awkward. So once you get up here, there's like lots of places you can go. There's little trails all over the place. There's a restaurant, a refugio as they call it. There's just this incredible landscape and right now the clouds are covering the big jutting cliffs but I think they're going to clear out in a little bit. So right, let's go get in the sun. <laughs> let's do it. Cool. <laughs> So we've just spent probably about the last hour or so um, sitting down in the little kind of grassy area below us, just taking in these views around us. It's really cloudy right now. Yeah, there's Cicada on our left side, and then there's just a giant cliff on our right side. Yeah, with clouds, you can't even see it. So it's, the clouds have been going in and out, so you get these just like breathtaking moments of seeing like the whole mountain and then the clouds come back and they're Swooping. flying over the <laughs> flying over the ridge and stuff but we're gonna go uh find another little comfy spot to sit in the sun maybe and eat our lunch that we got yeah yeah we actually just met some very yeah. kind people from latvia yeah we made friends from latvia dan so shout and out dan anya. and anya and they were like oh are you guys have like a blog or something <laughs> i was like oh we have a youtube and they're like oh we'll follow you and i was like sweet <laughs> So shout out Dan and Anya if you're watching this. Oh babe, it's good right now. Mm. So now we're gonna head this way. But this view is just still the <laughs> unbelievable. Heck? The clouds are wild. They're like climbing upwards and then coming over the mountain and they'll disappear for a second and then they'll like rush back in and the sun goes away and then the sun comes out and it's just like, because we're so high up, the clouds are moving so fast. It's crazy. Not a bad view for lunch, but... Not walking like and you, it's funny if you're walking right here and you look this way you have no idea what's on the other side of you which is a sharp cliff like 2,000 feet down <laughs> it's insane <laughs> and then over here is this incredible valley and then in front is that <laughs> there's not as much air up here as there is at sea level there's no air <laughs> None. None to be had. Alrighty. We made mm. it up to the top of the cliff. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to try to go over there. So, some clouds have definitely started rolling in. We've been up here for like five hours now. <laughs> and have gone maybe, maybe half a mile. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because we can't stop just like staring at everything. But this place is unbelievable. We might even come back 
tomorrow really quick again. Another hilarious thing is way down there, I don't know, maybe 3,000 feet, 2,000, 3,000 feet down, <laughs> there's a nice pasture of cows and we can hear their bells all the way up here. Listen. They're don't moving. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but I can hear Those it. cows are having a good time. She's like, ting, 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 ling. And definitely adds to the, uh, the ambiance. The um, but we are going to start hiking down and try to find a little uh, restaurant brew house and get a drink. A little brew ha ha. A little brew ha ha. Hello, cow. Hi. That's a big bell. Oh, oh babe. Huge. He's so big. Oh, yeah, and this is the coolest little mountain bar ever. All right, we got to figure out what time the uh, gondola we're trying to yeah. catch the leaves. Well, <laughs> the uh, lift down that we were going to catch uh, actually closes at five, and it is 4:48 right now. <laughs> so too far away. That does not leave us enough time to get to it. So we do not have time to sit and have a beer. And now we are gonna have to hoof it back up to the lift that we came up on and try to make it there by 5.30 or else we're gonna be hiking all the way down. A lack of planning strikes again. <laughs> it's kind of our thing, honestly. Here we go. We just ran up a mountain with no oxygen for 15 minutes and made the last gondola down. We were the last people on. Yeah, the very last people on it left a minute after we got on. I'm gonna sleep all tonight. That sucks. <laughs> for a little bit more excavation. Explication. Explication. I think I've, I think I'm a little bit woozy from the rapid change in elevation and the exertion <laughs> and such. For a little bit more explanation, okay. that lift closes at 5:30. So we were going to take a different lift that was lower down the mountain and close to the place that we were getting drinks. Come to find out, we got to the place we were getting drinks at about 4:45. We we're like, we'll have a quick beer and then head down. We were close. We're like it's got to be 5:30. Yeah. We asked the nice lady and she said. She said, no, no, it's five. Five. And I said, yeah, she literally <laughs> said, she said, it's five. And then she looked at her watch and she said, and I was like, so then do we just have to walk down? And she goes, I don't speak English. And I was like, so I'm gonna just say, assume that's yes. So then yeah. I walked out and I was like, we gotta go. So <laughs> then we had to hoof way back up the mountain. Fit completely out of shape, Having low oxygen. Having pizza and pasta for the last <laughs> two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, low oxygen. It just was a bad combination. So. But we made it. We were just walking through town to go find a restaurant and we heard music and clapping and we were like, let's go find out what that is. I'm so glad we did. <laughs> I'm hungry, so let's wow. get some food. Okay, we found the other part of the party. It's a wedding. The men take the bride and they go to one part of town, and then all the women take the groom and go to another part of town, and they have like these little parties separately. I don't know what the, why that's part of the tradition, but we just wandered upon the other part. A little fancier than what we were looking for, but you know, sometimes that happens. We had to get beers after we missed our chance to get beers up on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Carrots. Thank you. Cheers. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>